Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with a brand new video on the channel. And you might be wondering, why am I looking at Carvana's website? What's going on? Are you selling the Golf? Are you selling the Prelude? Are you selling the Jeep? Are you selling the Jetta? Are you selling your Kia Sorento? Are you selling your 97 Mustang? Does it sound like I have access to too many cars on a daily basis? Okay, yes. It is the answer to that question is yes. But that's not the point of today's video. So a lot of you guys seem to really like to keep up with my cars, knowing what's going on. And you know, I appreciate that. Cars are one of my biggest hobbies, and I really would like to bring that to the channel somehow, whether it's with GoPros and doing repairs myself and with friends or you know, just vlogs on test driving cars and driving my friends modified cars and doing videos about their cars because I have some friends with some badass vehicles. Uh, there was actually one of my friends went millions of views viral on uh, TikTok a couple months ago, like last summer, with his Mazda Miata that he has, and it was hilarious. Um, so why am I looking at new cars? Why am I looking at used cars? Bad news. The Volkswagen Golf R will not be taking part in the 2021 summer car season this year. Yep. It will not be taking part in the 2021 car season. So what's going on with the Golf? It needs a valve cover gasket. The PCV system is going to be completely replaced. They're going to pull the downpipe and then the turbo to make sure my turbo is okay. And also check all the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, all the like, uh, uh, Filters isn't the word I want. <clears throat> um, gaskets and stuff like that. And like little other little things, like the little round things. Oh my god, my brain is blanking. Seals and stuff like that. Uh, it's a nearly $4,000 job if I have to have a new turbo put on the car. But the way I look at it, the Golf has 124,000 miles on it. It's been tuned the way it's tuned since about 1,500 miles, since July 2012. It's seen its... It, it's gone through its paces. It's gone through its fun. And now it's time for it to settle down, have a nap, a much-deserved nap, and come back strong for 2022. 2022 or 2023. My plan is to daily drive the Jetta. The Jetta's running again. Does need to get I do need to get some uh radiator hoses because the hoses are showing their age and they're a little bit cracked. But realistically that's that and the e-brake cable needs to be replaced. Other than that, that's really all that's wrong with the uh, with the Golf or a Jetta. Sorry. So I could easily daily drive the Jetta, no problem. Which is kind of the plan, but I've developed this addiction. I need a car that makes me happy. Yes, the Jetta's fun. It's super smooth shifting. It has very loud blow-off noises because it's got an aftermarket blow-off valve on it. But it's not... It doesn't have a smile pedal. That's what I call my pedal in the Golf. I call it my smile pedal because if I put my foot down, I accelerate hard. I really do. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I just decided to hit it and see how fast I can realistically get. 
it got up to 155 miles per hour before I finally let off and went, okay, this car is this car scares me. This is the fastest I've ever gone. <clears throat> it kind of matches the fastest I've ever gone. And looking at my boost gauge, I started flooring it in fifth, around 85 miles an hour. That would be about 3,800-ish RPMs. My boost gauge with a stock Borg Warner KO4 64 was pegged and holding at 30 plus PSI. I was asking for trouble, and the trouble I was asking for did wreak its ugly head. The highest turbo pressure I have ever seen out of my KO4 on the Golf R is 34.5 PSI. The KO4 should be tuned to max out at peak at 28. Mine was peaked at 30, so I was already playing with fire, but in warm temperatures, I would never even get it to peak at like 29. It peaked at 34.5 on another cold day. The Golf R is, it, like I said, it is much deserving of its nap. It's been pushed kind of hard its entire life since 2012 when my friend bought it. It's deserving of a much needed rebuild. My heart's in the right place. I am doing damn near everything I can to keep this car. But I need some help finding another smile pedal. And that's why I'm coming to you guys. The Jetta's not going to be my smile pedal. The Prelude's not going to be my smile pedal. The Prelude, I'll be lucky if it can drive down the driveway. The Jetta does get me to work and back every day. But I want something that still brings that same feeling kind of home. And I got to thinking about a car I drove a couple years ago when I worked for Volkswagen as an entry-level mechanic. I got to drive a Fiat 124 Spider, a Barth. Such a badass car. It is literally a Mazda Miata with the turbo stock. 160 horsepower, I believe, was the stock figure. We weren't allowed to take the car on the road because actually the dealership I worked for got them early. They got them earlier than they were supposed to, and they would have gotten in trouble if any public eye saw their Fiat 124 Abarth. I can't afford a 124. A 124 is a car I very much want to be my fun summer car someday. They're so f badass. They're one of my favorite cars. But there is another Abarth. Now, a lot of people have made fun of me for wanting one of these. A lot of people have made fun of me for thinking that a Fiat is going to be uh, is going to be more reliable than my Golf. I know a Fiat is not going to be more reliable than my Golf. I don't expect it to be. I just want something fun. Wow, there's one left on Carvana. <laughs> there were three of them up here last night. And one of them was only $155 a month for my credit score. And it was free shipping. But I think a car like the Fiat 500 Abarth. Let's also do Auto Tempest. A car like the Abarth or another... Fiat 500, or another car that's similar to it that's a turbo. Wow, that's abundantly overly priced. Isn't there a 595 as well? What's the Fiat 600? Oh, they have a few of them. They do not. I think I just need to find something similar to this Abarth. That's what I want. 
The Fiat is a, is such a tiny card. They're so cool. There's the 500X, the 500, the 124. Let's just look at straight 500s. What's the cheapest 500? I'm going to do a probably only 500 down. Ain't no way I'm paying a thousand a month, obviously. We're going to take this down to, we're going to see if I can do 215 or less. So yeah, there's the Fiat 500 pop. There was another one coming soon. I don't know which ones are turboed and which ones aren't. So that's what I'm going to be looking into as well during this vehicle or this uh, video. Which ones of these come to, so it'll say it's turboed. Got it. I just, I don't know any other cars that could be like one of these that's going to be sporty and fun in the same way. I think there's a Gucci edition Fiat 500 and like I kind of want it low key for no good reason. But, uh, no image. Yeah, I don't know why I clicked those. So, this is going to be a really weird thing to find. Let's go car gurus. And we're going to go search. And I definitely... You don't need to know my email. see by price and that doesn't really matter so there is one specific one that i'm going to go look at on saturday it's on your screen right now wow that's actually a really cool deal here's the fiat 500 gucci this is one i was really actually thinking about i don't know what it is about the gucci edition There's, I think it's the fact that Gucci's in the name and that's it. It's literally a car with Gucci everything. That would be so kind of hilarious. It looks entirely comfortable. It looks like a fun car. I don't think it's turboed. If it was turboed, I'd be all over it. It'd be perfect. But yeah, it's literally a Gucci car but it's not turboed. I want something turboed. So, what car am I looking at on Saturday? Well, you can already tell because I contacted them. This Fiat 500 Abarth is a little bit special. You can already tell by looking at it, it's missing a piece of its front bumper. It's got a front lip. It's got the side wing things. I don't know what those are actually called in the car world. Let's go through this Fiat 500 Abarth together because this thing's a little rocket ship. So at first it's a very normal looking Abarth. It's uh you know it's there's nothing that special about it. It just looks like it's got some cool aftermarket parts to make it visually better. You can already see through the back window there's something missing. Let's get to the uh, interior here. It's missing its entire front grille to cover this. It's missing some flooring. It's gutted. It's completely gutted. Well, almost completely gutted. Which I'm okay with. This looks like a smile pedal car, as I like to call it. It's completely gutted in the back. It looks like this is just a hole and they never gapped it properly. So I really worry about water back here from the rain. But I can definitely use that to my advantage for getting it cheaper. Also, I really don't like all these hanging wires, but... I've shown these pictures to friends, and if I end up with this car, it's definitely going to be um, a whole lot of fun of tightening these up and making them safe, so it's not just a bunch of stuff.
stuff like that. There's not even the roof in it. And it's tuned by Torque Tuned. Uh, and you can do different setups on the fly and everything. It's... It's a little beast. I cannot tell if that's an aftermarket turbo or stock. I would definitely get a forge actuator if I got this, if that isn't a forge one already. Um, the forge actuators let you adjust the pressure that the spring allows it to open. It's definitely an aftermarket intake. Uh, my phone is vibrating. Okay. Oh, one of my phones sold. Cool. Uh... I can't tell how much is done to this car without going to look at it. It's only located about five miles away from me, so I'm going to go look at it this weekend. I'll take some videos. Maybe I'll do a quick, like, short upload. This is the Fiat 500 that I want. Supposedly, it's $1,000 below market, but with all those modifications and how unsafe it looks... No way in hell I'm making this offer. No way. If I can get this car for about 6000 the same price as like another Abarth, a normal one, I mean, I have a lot of leg to stand on. No interior. If I want the interior back in it, I have to buy the interior from a wrecked one. It's missing all the flooring. I would have to get some carpeting for it, which realistically in the back, what I'm actually thinking about doing if I got this car would be the Volkswagen thing and doing like a hardwood floor just to cover it. Um, but I would have to get some of the flooring for the front. Uh, I got to go through and make that wiring safe. I don't know if it's even built properly. I would have to do to feel safe and confident. I'd have to do the spark plugs myself, right? You know, it's before I even think about getting on the gas pedal. I have to do the coil packs to make sure they're good. Uh, check the parts to make sure the cart car is built well. And uh, see how it's going to run. And basically figure out exactly what I need to do with this. I mean, it's had four owners already. It's been messed with in ways that are, I, that are probably major red flags that I should not buy it. It's also been for sale for nearly 80 days, nearly three months. If I can go up to this guy's dealership and offer him six grand, and it's my drive it once a week car in the summer, and then I garage it for the winter, I'm still going to keep the Golf. I'm still going to keep the Prelude, and I'm still going to keep the Jetta. There is a good chance I will end up with this car. And this will end up being the, the Tech X car that I turn into a race car. The uh, stock turbo record for this car in a quarter mile is 13 point something odd uh, seconds. I like having a goal that sounds achievable. 13 some odd seconds is insane for a little car like this. I want to get this thing into the 12s on a stock turbo. I'm sure it's doable, especially being able to tune it on the fly with the torque tune. So let's look up some torque tune stuff because that stuff is cool. Torque tuned. So let's go to their website. And Fiat, I want the 500 of Barth. They have a lot of cool parts. This car is not expensive to build at all. I would totally do a snow performance kit. That would be f absolutely amazing to do a snow performance kit. Like, look how cheap I could just do a custom kit for. You know? Maybe do a stage two. I don't really feel like I need a stage four or a stage three. Do like a stage two snow performance. Do E85 injectors and get this thing really rocking. That's less than a thousand bucks. Do uh, make sure the air induction kit is really good. 
I think a three inch is really nice, but you know, there are options. Just make your own, honestly. It wouldn't be that difficult to make your own cold air and uh piping for that. It's such a short area. I would definitely get a DV plus for it. I'm used to driving with a D uh DV plus. And I would also want to get one of these Turbo Smart Actuator wastegates. I actually already have one of these. Just take it off the Golf. Honestly, it's probably the same size. I The Golf is going to be sitting in the garage anyway. Just take it off the Golf and put it onto the new car. Get a bigger, maybe dual this thing. That would be sweet. Like, there's so much I can do with this. Oh my god, and a turbo swap? This car could be beast. They're saying 230 horsepower with this. I mean, you're already at 200 horsepower with a torque tune on stage 2, I believe, from what I've been reading. So realistically, I bet you could get this much higher, and I would love to go with something bigger than that anyway. Honestly, I would just at that point go with an eBay turbo and probably be more than happy. thousand dollar core charge oh my god but there's just so much to do with this car and the tuning software isn't even realistically that expensive but yeah these would be the spark plugs i'd buy same as the ones for the golf i would definitely do the multi-air uh torque tune you know stuff to make sure i have it And then you can do like separate E85 tunes, so you can drive on normal 93 all the time. But I would definitely want the pops and gurgles. This would be my annoying car. This would be my car that I would go and just have an absolute blast with. And then they have all their information here. It's It's got valet mode just like the APR tunes do. This thing is absolutely insane. They have stuff for Volkswagens? Wait, which car? Isn't that Alpha? Okay, they have nothing for Volkswagens. I don't know why they even bother. Nothing for Audi. What about Hyundai? They have stuff for... Oh. Someone was telling me they have stuff for... Uh... Oh, I hit Kia. Oh, just the rent. There it is. Ah, Veloster stuff. Cool. I'm just curious at this point. Hold on, because I'll get a Veloster. I love my Veloster. I don't see any tuning stuff. Oh, tuning. Duh. So it's more of a piggyback tune from what it looks like, a race chip thing. I don't think those are usually any good. Pop some bangs. You bet your ass. A thousand bucks? That's not terrible. I wonder how much power it gives. Okay, it depends. So about 20 HP increase. They haven't gotten this far yet. Your turbo, do you get like... Wow, that's insane. But anyway, y'all know what I'm looking at. I can't wait to look at this car on Saturday. Push comes to shove. I do like it. I end up finding out I like it. You know, maybe find... If I don't get this one specifically, I find another Fiat 500 that's turboed. Let's say. Um, they literally don't have any others that are listed as turbo. That's okay. I can always wait and find a car later on and just wait for the right thing to pop up. I mean, I could look at eBay Motors as well, but generally eBay, eh, let's see, let's look, Fiat 500 a Barth, let's just look and see if we can get one at all here, so we want a Fiat 500. Uh, we'll do within 50 miles of my house. The 500X. Jesus Christ, that's really expensive. 
We'll do lowest to highest. So yeah, there's this guy. Uh, I want one. How do I set this as like turboed and stuff like that? Let's do turbo. Wow, that would be cool to have. But yeah, I don't see hardly anything here. This is on a bid? I'll bid on that. Wait, where is it? Oh, I'm 2,000 miles away. All right, I'm not bidding on that. I mean, that's another option. Go to a uh, insurance auction. Who knows what I'm going to... Oh, that'd be so cool. But, yeah, I only see one actual Fiat 500 here. Oh, okay, I know where Falls Motor City is. This thing's really low priced. Automatic. Fiat 500. I wonder if you can just add a turbo to it. I know where that I know exactly where that is here in Ohio. I do not believe this is going to be a turboed model. I really don't think so. It doesn't even look like a turboed model. It's got the single. Although I really do like the white wheels. I'm not a fan of the gray. Oh, that's an ugly radio. Boy, I'm going back in time. But, they have a website. I mean the website. Let's see, mechanical. Yeah, it's just a multi-era engine. It's not turboed. It would say turboed right here. Oh, it has hill assist. That's cool. Oh my god, horsepower a hundred. Uh bruh. No. <laughs> That's way too low. <laughs> I find it weird that it's not like an actual option in here. You can just select 500 and that's it. Yeah, there's just not really any good options, even through eBay Motors. I'm not surprised by that, though. So, I'm going to go look at this on Saturday. If you can think of another car that's similarly priced... Uh, usually I have it hidden for links in comments and it goes to my uh, approval section of the YouTube studio but still leave a link if you can think of I mean you see what my general location of looking is if you can think of a car that's going to be similarly priced that's going to be just as fun not a maintenance absolute nightmare like this might be I mean this would be fun for me though hit me with it honestly let's see what we find you know, I can't go through Craigslist. I'm not paying cash for this. I have to do it on a loan. So it does have to be a dealer of some kind. More than likely. But we'll see how this thing is. Maybe I'll do a live stream on Saturday while I'm there. Granted, I don't have unlimited data, so it would be a very, very crappy live stream. So maybe not. But... Maybe I can find an activated SIM card at work from one of our used phones and just pop it. So I'll talk to you guys later. I think I've ranted enough or I've talked enough about this for you guys to get my point. I'm excited to see what I could possibly end up with. So I'll talk to you guys later. Give me your feedback down below. Peace out.